Bo Stampers. Kelly Atchison at stampabub.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. We are live tonight for a fun little stamping class. I'm going to get myself set up on my computer here so that I can see your comments when I flip the phone around. Hi, Lori. I see popple people, popular peopling in. <laughs> you know what I mean. People are popling in. <laughs> hi, Lisa. Hi, D. Terry, Mary, welcome. Oh my gosh, I was having some technical difficulties tonight. Hi, Kathy, Wendy, Sue, welcome. Yeah, it was really weird. It was like my phone wouldn't load up my Facebook page, and I'm not quite sure why. Hi, Haley, Lori, Rachel, welcome. So I had to like turn my internet off and turn it back on and uh, I don't know. It was just a lot of things. But it's working now, so that's good. Hi, Lisa, Francie, Julie. How are you guys tonight? I see Kathy popping in. Welcome. Sandy's here. I'm a little cold right now. I know, story of my life, right? And then I have you people down in the south where it's warm telling me it's going to be like 108. Oh, I wish. I don't wish it to really be that warm, but it'd be nice if it would. It was really nice here today. I didn't get outside, but I walked out on the porch and put some mail in the mailbox. <laughs> That's as much as I got done today outside. Hi, Peggy. Hi, Rhonda. Tammy. Welcome. Vicky's here. So I have been working all day on my kits. I hope to have them out in the mail on Monday. I'm running about a day behind, but I don't think that's too crazy considering. <laughs> yeah, so I was, um, I've got everything loaded up, counted out, figured out, and now I get to cut when I'm done here tonight, but I have a team meeting tomorrow, and I need to get ready for that. So, oh, and Angie says baby. Yeah, we don't have a baby. <laughs> that daughter of mine is not having that baby. So, no, no baby yet, you guys, but darn it. Any day now, right? Any day it's going to happen. But she hasn't had the baby yet. She was over all day today. She worked on a scrapbook page. And uh, when I flip my phone around, I'll show it to you guys. It's absolutely gorgeous, of course, right? Yeah. So, um, yeah, Diana's asking, any baby news? Nope, there's no baby yet. We don't have any babies. Oh, and Judy's coming to Appleton. Good for you, Judy. Hi, Beth. Haley is doing good, Kim. She's doing just fine. She's feeling good, so that's all right. Um, her husband starts vacation today, so he will be off for a month. And so that's exciting. Well, he's off for a week, and then he's um, going to be on maternity leave. Let's see. What did... Wendy Sue just said, don't you have something better to do, like having a baby than watching your mom? I <laughs> love it. Thank you, Wendy Sue. Let's get this girl in gear. I want this baby out now. <laughs> Hi, April. Hi, Kim. Hi, Amy. Welcome. Sandra's here. And Sandra says she finally got me when I'm live. Yes, you did. I hope you can get on tomorrow, too. You know, we're going to be on Zoom, so... We're having a Zoom team meeting, and that should be a lot of fun. I have two people that are on my team who have graciously volunteered to do demonstrations from their home. So I'm really excited about that. Kim says, hot bath and hot curry to get the baby moving. Interesting. Hi, Jody Bogdanovich. I'm happy to see you here. We've got Denise from La Crosse. Stacy is watching. Jane, sorry, no baby. I know she'll come when she's darn good and ready. I told Haley today, I said, you know, this is just a little picture of what's to come. This baby's going to do things on her own time. <laughs> yeah, and I, we talked about that the other day. Um, Haley was a really, really good baby. Like, she was very patient. My mom was always shocked at how patient she was because she would like, uh, she'd, uh, and I'd say, hang on a minute. And I'd make her wait for stuff all the time. Like, I wasn't one of those moms that jumped the minute the child peeped. I made her wait. My mom said she couldn't believe how patient she was. And then Haley said that Jared, her husband, was also a really good baby. So, yeah, we'll see, right? 
<laughs> I don't know how good she'll be, but I know she'll be adorable. All babies are adorable. Well, most of the time. <laughs> okay, you guys. Um, I did get some mail today. That was fun. Oh, and did I tell you about the dumb thing I did the other day? Hang on, I'm grabbing my mail. Did I tell you about ordering some games? I ordered Phase 10 and Yahtzee. Only when I got them from Amazon, it was just the books with the score sheets in them. <sighs> so I'm not very patiently waiting for my real games to come. I've got lots of score books. <laughs> Darn it. Hate it when stuff like that happens. Anyways, I'm looking forward to playing some of those games because I'm getting a little like, okay, I need to be doing something else too, right? If I can't go to lunch, I need a little phase 10 in my life. So I have to show you the pretty cards that I got. This first one is, hang on, I just taped it together. Um, oh my goodness, I'm having a little, some technical difficulties with the card. And it's my own fault. Look at how pretty this is. <gasps> there's the bees and it says hello. And then there's a belly band on it. Look at this, folded back, very cool, right? Thinking of you, sweet friend. This is a very nice card to send to a friend, to anybody right now that might need a little pick-me-up. I love this. This uses the bee paper. Now the bee paper, hang on, I'm having trouble. The bee paper is gone now, but you could use other designer series paper, but it's just really, really cool. And I just had a message pop up on my phone that I'm going to get rid of. This is from Jean Ewert. Jean is from Franklin, Wisconsin. Hi, Kelly. I've so enjoyed catching your daily Facebook classes. You're entertaining and always have great ideas. Plus, it gives all of your followers a little something to look forward to during this pandemic. Looking forward to when we can all return to normal. Take care, Jean. I'm also enjoying your countdown to your million dollars. You'll get there soon. Thank you, Jean. Thank you very much. Isn't that just really cool? I love the belly band. Love the belly band. That's a really great idea. This is another great way, hang on, <laughs> to use the um, use the paper. And Jean's belly band is working just fine. When I opened the envelope, I accidentally slit. it. My um, envelope opener slit. The whole thing opened, so I had to put some tape on it. Urgh, darn it. I hate it when that happens. But thank you very much, Jean. That was very sweet of you. I love your card. Oh, and did you guys see the wink of Stella on the bee? I don't know if you can see that, but there's wink. Well, see, my tape just came undone. Darn it. There we go. <laughs> there's wink of Stella on the bee, which is really, really pretty. It just that little bit of glimmer makes it look beautiful. Debbie says, Kelly, how are you today? I am good. I am feeling good about my kits. Um, all I have to do is get the paper cut and that won't take very long because I have one of those huge industrial paper cutters. I need to cut my kit paper and get it um, sorted into the packages and I'll be ready to put my kits together. So I'm feeling really good about that. Thank you for asking. <laughs> okay, next I got a card from Marie and I think it's Marie McMillan. Yes. And look at how pretty this is. This is the kerchief card kit that was part of our celebration promotion. And Marie says, Kelly, thank you for all the videos that you have managed to do. Great seeing you every day. Love it. I was very happy to hear my name as a winner for the kerchief card kit. Thanks again, Marie. And she put a little, some little gold leaves on the inside there. Isn't that pretty? These kits went really, really fast because they are awesome. So... There we go. Thank you so much, Marie. I always appreciate that. Then I got this big card in the mail today. And hang on, I'm going to look inside here. This is from Jackie Blairsh. I hope I'm saying your name right, Jackie. Look at how pretty this is. Oh my goodness. Love, love, love the coloring. Jackie just knocked it out of the park. This is the Ornate Garden Suite, which I am madly in love with. I might dump Steve. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> well, no, I won't. <laughs> but it is beautiful. And she used um, Purple Posy as her background color. 
of cardstock and she used the ornate garden or ornate floral embossing folder. Look at how pretty that is. It's just so, so well done. And then the inside, check that out. Yeah, it says, just wanted to say thanks from the bottom of my heart. Love this card, Jackie. This is so pretty. And she put a little note in it. It says, I just wanted to thank you for all your Facebook lives during CQ 2020. I deal with stress through laughter and your humor has brought me many laughs. I just want you to know you are so appreciated. Thanks again, Jackie. And thank you, Jackie. Like, holy cow, how sweet is that? And then, are you ready for this? This is what Jackie made and sent to me. OMG. Look it. It is a twist on the pop-up box cards. She used that basket weave folder that we just ran out of the other day from Stampin' Up! And I was thinking about this today, but you know what I thought might work very good for this? <clears throat> is the Coastal Weave. That's a basket weave also. So we don't have this folder anymore. Darn it, because it was one of my favorites. But look at how cool that is. It's a box and it's got all these flowers in it. And it's just like, let me find my little, yeah, here comes my little umbrellas. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just like the umbrella one that I showed you how to make. Remember this and this. What? And then Wendy Sue made this one. Beautiful, right? And then, hang on, or let me get this back up here. It wants to fall over. Then we had this one from Marilyn. Remember this beautiful, holy cow? Yeah. And now, I have this one. Oh my gosh, so pretty. This is the Daisy Punch, the Big Punch and the Little Daisy Punch. This is from that, um... Oh, I don't remember what it's called. Who knows what that's called? But that's a die set that we have in the annual catalog. Just absolutely beautiful. So incredibly pretty. Thank you so much. Like, I feel like I have another bouquet of flowers. Look at all my flower cards back here. I have another, hang on, I'm gonna pinch this just a little bit. So it'll, there we go. Look at how pretty that is, right? Gotta get my ladybugs back here too. And let me put these away. Jackie decorated the envelope too. Yeah. I got to do this one up here. Comes another one. And what's the back of my head look like? Am I looking okay back there? What's my hair doing? <laughs> and we got to get these two out here. Well, here we go. Lots of new cards. I try to switch these out frequently. We'll put that one right there. Because I got to have room for the cards, right? I got to display the cards. All right. Thank you guys so much. Band Together, Roberta says. That's the name of the um, die set that makes this intricate frame around the sentiment. It's called Band Together. Thank you. I could not think of that. I own it. <laughs> of course I do, right? There we go. Maybe I'll have to do something with that soon. Um, what else can I tell you? Okay, we have a winner from last night. If you remember, last night I gave away a pack of the Flowering Foils Specialty Designer Series paper that I love, love, love. This was free during celebration. Tonight we have a new winner, and it is Janice Kellerzon from Oaktown, Indiana. And Janice, I looked up your name to find your address, and you are getting my um, dressed... What is the name of that kit? Best Dressed. <laughs> Best Dressed Kit Class for this month. So I'll put this in with your kit that's going out in the mail on Monday. Yeah. Hello, Michael Deal. I'm happy to see you here. I'm going to set that right back here so I don't lose it. And then I put this with it because I'm going to wrap it in that to keep it safe. And then I got my paper pumpkin today. So I had to open that up right away and look at the ribbon. Sorry, somebody just called me. Don't call me, I'm live. I forgot to put my phone on, do not disturb. Yay me. That might happen again, by the way. Look at this, is kind of like shimmery. Such a pretty color, right? 
Love this. And then we got a pear pizzazz ink spot. So that's cool. Here is, let's see, I'm going to turn it this way. Here's the stamp set. We've got a tree and a tree trunk and a ton of sentiments and some individual leaves. What is that? Butterflies going, you know, like three butterflies in a row. That's really cute. Hang on. I'm not scrolling again. There we go. And lots and lots of words in here. And these are really hard to read when you don't have them mounted. I'll always be here for you. Happy Father's Day. Family, uh, family where life begins and love never ends. Ooh, I like that. To my wonderful, and then it has brother, dad, sister, daughter, mom. Happy Mother's Day. Um, I'm glad you're in my family. How sweet is that? I love this. Okay, so there you go. Sun. Sun is in here too. Some really great sentiments. Sorry, that took me a long time to read that because they're hard to read when they're on this plastic. And then here's our kit. And I am really excited because I have to come up with, um, Alternate ideas every month with the Paper Pumpkin Kit. That's one of the things that I do for my customers that subscribe to Paper Pumpkin through me. I send you a file with like 15 to 20 different alternate ideas using that monthly kit. It's really cool. It's a PDF file. It has all the dimensions, any extra supplies that I use. Hi, Diane. Diane lives on the corner right by me down here. <laughs> I haven't seen her in a while because we're all locked in our houses. Right, Diane? Anyways... Um, yeah, when you subscribe to Paper Pumpkin through me, you get an alternate file every month that has 15 to 20 different ideas in it for that monthly kit. So I can't wait to play with this one because I think those stamp sets, the stamp set is phenomenal. Oh, I forgot to tell you something. Here it is. Just add in color. Look at how cool this looks. Now, I know this doesn't look like much because it's black and white, but... The May Paper Pumpkin Kit is going to feature Stampin' Up's new in colors. The 2020 to 2022 in colors will be in the May kit. Now, I don't know which parts of the kit are going to be the in colors, but I'm hoping some of the ink spots will be because that'll be really cool. And I'm really hoping for the Bumblebee one because we've seen that in the Ornate Garden paper, right? Right. But anyways, um, you have to order between April 11th and May 10th to get the May kit. Now, if you order or if you subscribe to Paper Pumpkin on May 11th, you're not gonna get the May kit. The deadline is the 10th of each month to get that month's kit. So it's a great month to try it out. You're gonna get to see the in colors firsthand. And um, like I said, maybe we'll get some ink spots with the new colors. I think that would be really cool. Anyways. That's what's happening with Paper Pumpkin. I can't wait to make mine because I love, I love the challenge. That's what I love. And the Paper Pumpkin kits are phenomenal. So don't forget to share my video. You guys can click on that share button right now when you share this to your profile page. So just click on share and don't assign it any place. Just put it on your page. You never know who in your friends list might like to get into stamping or used to stamp but doesn't anymore and thinks they might want to do it since we're all sitting home doing nothing. Um, <laughs> this is a really good time to become a stamper. That's what I'm saying. Oh, and somebody just left me a voicemail. That's good. I know, I'm really excited to see the new in colors early too. Um, I believe that, I'm looking at my calendar here, next week, um, Stamping Up Demonstrators, Discount Shoppers, we all get to see the catalog and the retirement list, I think, this next week. Am I right about that, you guys? Some of you know these answers. So, oh, and Holly says she got her kit yesterday, too, and she worked on it today. Good for you. I just, I saw it laying on my stairs in my kitchen, or in my, in my entryway. Steve must have got the mail and brought it in. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Barbara. Thank you guys for the share. I really appreciate that share button. Make sure you click on the like button, too. That does something with all the internet magic analytics that helps me out, and I really appreciate it. Do we know if we are getting the ink spots? We do not know. We don't know that at all. I'm just making an assumption, so please don't think that 
please don't say Kelly Atchison said <laughs> that we're getting new in color ink spots in the May kit. I'm just, I'm just thinking, I'm thinking we should, but I don't have any insider information. What kind of strawberry lemonade do I drink? Who is asking that question? Marsha is. I drink um, the little packets by Optavia. It's O-P-T-A-V-I-A. -A. They are also a calorie burner, so they have caffeine in them, which could explain a lot of my behavior. <laughs> it gives me lots of energy. But um, yeah, I really like this. It's like Crystal Light, but it's a lot lighter. It's not as tangy and sweet as Crystal Light. And I don't know. People have told me Crystal Light really isn't good for you. I don't know. I don't know. But I like this stuff and it, it gives me the energy that I need to keep going at the pace that I go considering that I don't eat all the sugar anymore that I used to. So what color is paper pumpkin ribbon this month? Well, you know, I'm thinking, I don't know what color that is. That's a really good question. Now that you say that, I don't think it is... Um, a cocoa rose? No, not at all. Look at look at the well. I don't know. What do you guys think? It's darker. Maybe that's one of the new in colors. We just don't know it. I don't know. Could be. It's an exciting time of year, right? We're gonna get all these new products, all these new colors. We're gonna have some fresh products to play with. I keep putting this on top of my box so that it doesn't get lost under there, and I forget to put it in with Janice's stuff. So that's why I keep like. Keep rearranging it every time I touch it. I keep rearranging it. Um, Joni says she loves caffeine. Oh, I certainly do too. <laughs> and Cindy says she thinks it's one of the new in colors. Okay, it could be. I'm thinking. I'm thinking maybe you're right. I'm excited about it. I'm looking forward to it. I don't think it's melon mambo. It's not quite bright enough to be melon mambo, but I could be wrong. I don't know. All right. Um, Jules says she gave up sugar over a year and a half ago. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love sugar a lot. Like, I love it a lot. It would be really hard. So, um, yeah. I am going to, I think I'm ready to flip you guys. Are you ready to be flipped? I think we're ready to flip and start stamping. Now, I have to tell you, when we get done stamping tonight, I'm, I am walking away from my desk because I have to go get these kits done. I have a team meeting to get ready for. So I don't know when I'll be posting pictures on my blog with um, store links and everything for the card that we're going to make tonight. But we're making a really cute card. And then I have a whole bunch of swap cards using the same suite to show you. And um, I know you guys like that. And I know I do too. So that'll be fun. Okay. Matthew says, we are ready to flip. All right, Matthew. If you say so, hang tight. We are going to flip over. If you get motion, please close your eyes. I will tell you when you can open them again. And hope nobody calls me again while I'm doing my live. How's that look? Does that look straight? It looks kind of crooked. I think this is crooked. That's why. I always kind of go by this to see. Is it straight? Is it crooked? My little sign here. And get my cord out of the way. Now, my phone... I've had it plugged in all day, but it hasn't been charging, and I don't know why. So I'm just under the table again, making sure that my phone is plugged in so we don't die. <laughs> we don't want anybody to die tonight, right? So what I have here is the gorgeous Tropical Oasis Designer Series paper. We are going to be using this suite tonight. And, oh, look at that. Linda says, coordinating colors for the paper pumpkin kit says Melon Mambo is one of the colors. There you go. So it is Melon Mambo, you guys. Um, this Tropical Oasis is absolutely gorgeous. Now, if you have a copy of the Spring Mini Catalog, there are so many very pretty ideas in here. This is a perfect suite of products if you're a scrapbooker it is a perfect suite of products for scrapbooking a tropical vacation um it's just beautiful it's absolutely beautiful we have the paper we have the stamp set and dies the coastal weave embossing folder this is this is just good for so many things 
the Tropical Oasis trinkets, which we're going to be using tonight. I don't even know if the Saddle Brown Stays on ink ever came in or not. It, it There was some problem with it, and it was never available to order. Does anybody know? Is it available now? Um, I was not happy when it happened, and then I just kind of went, bleh. But Stays on ink in a Saddle Brown color is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. The Tropical Oasis Memories and More Card Pack Kit. Remember, we talked about this, and we talked about possibly having Haley do something with this to, to design some cards for me. That would be awesome. As long as she's not having a baby. I don't know why she can't. <laughs> oh, that was snarky, wasn't it? <laughs> I know, she's trying to have a baby. So, you get these die-cut adhesive sheets. These are so cute, right? Just so cute. Beautiful little label here. Some hearts. These are really cute too. Look at these. These are little little banner things. Oh, look, I got it right back in the right place. And then we have all these memories and more cards. And these are just so cool. Look at this. Hugs, kisses, and good vibe wishes. This would be cute on a card. Like right now. This, very cool. You get two of each design. Yeah, look at those luscious bananas. Look how cute this is. That is just stinking adorable. This could be a journaling page for your scrapbook, or you could put it on the front of a card. And look at that. Mahalo. Mahalo. Is that how I say that? I have some customers in Hawaii. We're supposed to go to Hawaii in July. It's not looking good. They haven't called it off yet, but... The best is yet to come. And we got some palm trees there. I love palm trees because palm trees mean warm weather. Loving today. And these little cute cards. Look at them. They're just, they're just fun. They're nice. They're fun. They're pretty. And it matches all of the items in these suites. And then we've got all these little cards. And again, you get two of each one. And you can use these on the front of your cards. Look at how cute that, look at how cute this would be. Where's a card? Um, look at, put this right on here. Use it for some type of a label. I don't know. But you know what I mean, right? Okay. What is this? Summer of Sun. I love sun. I love, look at the surfboards. Cute. Tropical state of mind, that's what I'm always in. A tropical state of mind. Yes, indeed. I like that one a lot. These are very cool. Sunshine and smiles with some peaches. I love peaches. Let's go to the beach with the old, what is that, wood panel wagon thinger. I will never understand why these were popular. Because <laughs> they're just so weird. But they were. It reminds me of Cuba. Here's the ukulele. Did I say that right, you guys? Is it really a ukulele? I think it is. And then this one says, every summer has a story. Very cool. I love this. This is really pretty. Love your smile. Of course you do. <laughs> wow, that was pretty presumptuous, right? Look at the pineapple. Super, super cute. Here's a little frame. You can put a little sentiment in there and throw that on a card. Super easy cards. Look at this. Aloha. I know what that means. There's another Aloha. Here's another neat little card. Another little label deal. Oh, look at the coconut drink. I love me some coconut drinks. This paper matches some designer paper that's in the pack. My happy place. That's cool. Just really, really pretty elements in here. And I think I get a kick out of grabbing these. Um, see you soon, little pun there, the ukuleles again. I get a kick out of grabbing these and figuring out how to make cards with them. And of course, scrapbooking. I'm not much of a scrapbooker, but, um, Haley is. Maybe she could make us some pages. Something really pretty would be awesome. Or cards. But she needs to have that baby, right? Let's see if I can get these back in here without taking up all of your time on this. There we go. Yay. Okay. So we got the cards and then we also have this braided burlap trim, which is really very cool. And then our stamp set. 
and our dies. And some more really pretty ideas for cards here. I see that they're using the self-adhesive sequins in here too. So, you know, we have more products that match the suite, which I think is really neat. Okay. Now, I have a very quick and easy card to share with you tonight. I am going to pull out my cardstock layers here. And I'm going to be using this designer series paper, which I just love. I think it's so fun. Pineapples are cute. And this chubby little pineapple. This is the, um, what do they call that? The stem of the pineapple. And the little chubby little pineapple, this is what made me go like, oh my gosh, I must have that. <laughs> like this pineapple did it for me. It was the dye of the pineapple. But we also have some really neat leaves in here. Um, this looks like a feather, but it's a palm frond. We have some pretty little flowers. You can cut out the little pineapple, the trees, aloha words, some more leaves and flowers. But this is what we're going to be using for the card that we're making. I've got a card base of basic black. This is five and a half by eight and a half. We're going to score that and burnish that edge. And then I'm bringing in the designer series paper. This is four by five and a quarter. Super simple, nothing complicated here. Hang on, I got to find my my glue. All right. Oh, what's Haley saying? Somebody says, I don't think she's paying attention to you. I'm trying to stamp. <laughs> I don't know what Haley's saying. I'm looking right now. Yeah. Sorry, you guys. I must have missed it. Okay. I don't know. If Haley wants to ask me now, I'm paying attention. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, the crown. The crown of the pineapple. That's what the top part is called. Thank you very much, Kim. I knew that once upon a time because I've asked that before, but you know I can't remember anything. So <laughs> it is what it is, folks. I'm just starting to get used to it, and people just going to have to love it or hate it, I guess, right? So yeah, I do. I like this pineapple paper. I think it's really cool. Then I got just one of my half inch strips. And you know that I saved these from when I cut white cardstock down to four by five and a quarter, like a whole sheet. You get all these half inch strips. I really recommend that you save those because I've got a bag of them and I use them all the time for this type of thing. So we've got this really pretty font that says our friendship is timeless. Oh, I see what you guys are talking about. Haley's pages, I forgot. Hang on. I wasn't ignoring anybody at all. I'm sorry. So let me close this up so I don't have a disaster. Okay, you guys, are you ready? I'm so sorry. I had it in my head when we started, and then I forgot about it. Haley's scrapbook pages. This is the page she made today. Oh, my goodness, right? Look at all this. It's crazy beautiful. Let me get some more light in here. There we go. Isn't it crazy? She made all these medallions. Used a lot of different stamp sets here. She did embossing. Some of the ribbon. She used the ornate garden again to do all of these. Each, each one of these has a whole strip of that ornate garden on there. The edgelet. These are from the magnolia, the little um, cork things. And then we've got the rooted in nature. Is that what it's called? The twine. That's where that's coming from. The love. That's one of our die sets. And then she said, tomorrow when she gets the second page done, I will read you this. So this is um, things that began to change in the United States and across the world. So it's a little rundown of what's happening right now in our world. But oh my goodness, it's crazy, right? It is crazy, crazy beautiful. Holy cow. Here's one of our um, faceted gems. That looks really pretty. Yeah. 
So really, really gorgeous. And I said, where do you pull all these colors together? Because like, where are you seeing all these colors that you would think to put all these colors together and they're going to look good? And she goes, I don't know. I just picked them out. Ugh. I wish. Yeah. Okay. Hang on. I'm going to set this back over here carefully. I do not want to be responsible for any problems. <laughs> Anything happening to it, right? <laughs> okay. Teresa says that um, you could make her pages, Haley. <laughs> Mine too, right? I just want her to make cards for me. But no, she is a really good scrapbooker. There's no doubt about that. Okay, so our friendship is timeless. I am going to stamp that right in the middle of this layer. Get this closed up right away. And then I'm looking for, here it is. Like, where did my little cutter go? I'm going to take my little cutter. And I've had people the last couple times I've used this ask me where they can get one. And if this is going to be coming out in our new catalog. I am not 100% sure the answer to the new catalog question, but I do not think it is. This was something that as a demonstrator or discount shopper, you could purchase this in December if you were part of my team or part of a Stampin' Up! team. Now, um, or if you joined Stampin' Up! January, February, or March, you got this guillotine cutter free. And so, no, you cannot purchase it. And if you are a demonstrator or discount shopper and you were in December and you didn't know about ordering that, I'm sorry. But you should be on a team where you're getting this information. <laughs> Which is my team! Yeah, so I keep you guys abreast of all the things going on with Stamping Up so that you're getting the most out of your experience. Because that's why we're doing, being a discount shopper is not just about getting a discount. It's about being a part of something so much bigger and getting in on all the early pre-orders and the and the um, special promotions that are just for discount shoppers and demonstrators. So, yeah, it's a it's a problem. But one way that if you're not getting that support or maybe you don't have a team leader anymore that they quit, every Tuesday Stampin' Up! posts the weekly updates on the Stampin' Up! demonstrator website. And you can find them every Tuesday morning when you get up. So be reading those. That's where you find out about all the important things. All right, now <clears throat> I'm going to bring in um, a scrap of Daffodil Delight and a scrap of Pear Pizzazz. We are going to die cut our pineapple out of the Daffodil Delight and the crown... <laughs> of the pineapple out of the pear pizzazz. Now, of course, I've already done that. And look at how cute that is. It's just the cutest little thing, isn't it? And the crown is pretty spectacular, too. So you've got a lot of detail going on. And it die cuts these leaves and embosses them. There's like a line running down the middle of them. And you can kind of pull them up a little bit to make them stand out. Look how cool that is, right? I love that. Okay, let me put these away. So I don't lose them. And the next thing I wanted to do is I wanted to make these pop a little bit, okay? So while they're completely gorgeous the way they are, if we put some sponging on them, they're going to be even better. And this is kind of a neat little technique to make things really pop more. Look at look at the difference between the side with the green on it and the side with no green. Yeah. Now I'm using old olive ink. If you didn't want yours to be this green, you could stick with pear pizzazz and just give it a little bit of shadowing around the edges. Now I'm going to lift up my leaves a little bit and get I want some ink on these leaves that are raised. There we go. Look at how cool that looks with just that little bit of sponging. All right, I'm going to close. Well, I'll leave that open for a little bit. Um, I've got Calypso Coral here. And where did my sponge go? Right here. Instead of using a yellow on here, I thought it'd be cute to put 
a little bit of orange around the outside of my pineapple. And then I'm just adding a little bit of orange to the pineapple itself just to give it some color. And isn't that cute? You saw how I did it. I just went like that. Yeah, don't overthink it. Okay, we're going to take some dimensionals. And I thought I had, oh, here they are. I did. I actually did have dimensionals out here. Um, I'll use these edges as long as I can. Let's see if I can get the edges on here. Nope, I'm going to use the babies because I don't want to nail down, <laughs> nail down my leaves. I want my leaves to still be able to pop up. So I've got to be careful where I'm putting dimensionals. And these little tiny ones are going to work better. Hang on, let me get that little piece out of there. There we go. Okay, so I've got dimensionals here. And then I'm going to take my pineapple. I want to decide, this is going to go right across pretty much the middle of my pineapple. So when I'm doing that, I want my pineapple to be on dimensionals also. So I'm just going to take some dimensionals, some of the bigger pieces here and put them where they're going to be behind the banner on the front, okay? Does that make sense? If it doesn't, I'll show you in just a second here. Here we go. So I'm going to take my chubby little pineapple, and I'm going to put it right here, yeah, about right there. It's about mm, three quarters of an inch from the bottom, okay? And then we're going to take our pineapple, whoops, our pineapple crown, and add that right up here. Okay, and then we've got, oh, I shouldn't have put, oh, darn it. Um, I'm going to pull the dimensionals off because I shouldn't have put these on yet. That was dumb. And I'll show you why I just, you guys know, probably some of you know why I shouldn't have done that. Oh, hang on a second. I've got another one here just in case I messed it up. <laughs> Which up uh, I did, right? I'm going to put the dimensionals on the outside here. I don't need any on the inside just on the outside of this banner. And here we go. Get that out of there. Now my dimensionals are gonna straddle my pineapple. Does that make sense? Because they're only on the back of this. All right, then, oh, I forgot to show you these little deals. Did I show you these? I don't think I did. These are the trinkets. These are called Tropical Oasis Trinkets. And you have this really pretty, like, palm leaf. You have a ukulele. Uh, what do they call that? Hibiscus. And a pineapple. Look how cute those are. These are perfect little elements to go with this entire suite. And we're going to take one of those little flowers. And I am going to add a mini glue dot to it. like that and I'm gonna put this right here isn't it cute okay last but not least we're gonna grab just a little bit of this braided trim I'm gonna tie this in a knot and cut it off pretty short whoops that went right over my ink and about right there oh see I got ink on my fingers glad I saw that Another mini glue dot, and I'm going to put that right here. Okay, so we have just that little bit of braided trim on there. Now what are we going to do with the inside? Well, I've got this cutie patootie little pineapple, and I thought this would be great. I'm going to stamp the bottom. Oh, I need yellow. Hang on, I need some yellow. Um. We're going to go with Daffodil Delight, not orange. I want yellow. So I'm going to stamp in my lighter color first. And I got my pineapple all stamped there. And now I'm going to come in and do Oh, I got to go just a little bit lower. And that might be a little too low. Uh, let me lick the ink off my finger. <laughs> Kind of gross. Let's see what happens. Oh, that looks really good. Look how cute it is. It's just something very subtle for the inside of our card. And then 
I am going to glue this on the inside. And all we have left then is our envelope. And I have a bunch of samples to show you. So don't go running off any place. Okay. Um, where did my envelope go? Does anybody see an envelope? Here's an envelope. Where's my paper? Because I had a piece of paper. Oh, here it is. It fell. Okay, so hang on. My crown is falling. Okay, so here's what I thought. I thought that I would use, since we use this side for the front of the card, I thought this would be really cute on the envelope. What do you guys think about that? Should I do that side? I'm just wondering. I'm going to take a drink. You tell me. This side, the bright colored side, or this side? This is all pineapples. This has pineapples and bananas and those red things and I don't know what that is and peaches. I think actually this weird red fruit, I think I had some of that when I was in Thailand and it just really wasn't that good. <laughs> it looks really pretty, but it doesn't taste that good. Yeah. So what do you guys think? Colorful or not? I don't see any comments coming in. I know it's delayed a little bit. I'm going to look up here in my phone. Yellow. You want this side? This side from my envelope? Or the bright side? I've got bright, bright, yellow, bright, bright. You guys know I'm kind of a bright colored person, right? I'm going to go with the bright. That's the color that I was going to pick. Because I like the bright. Now I know the other side really matches good. But when you get your Tropical Oasis paper and you make this card, you can use the other side. I'm bringing sunshine to somebody with all that fruit. Let's see if I can get this cut off without making a mess here of my envelope. <laughs> Some days I'm a better cutter than others. Well, I'm doing pretty good. Look at how cute that is. Ta I love it. So here's our super simple card. Our friendship is timeless. You have a lot of room to write in here. I think it turned out pretty darn good, right? Now, let me show you the rest of these cards that I have because they are fantastic. Here we go. Here is a really pretty card using the designer series paper. So I used this paper and die cut my pineapple out of that paper and the crown out of this paper. Isn't that cool? I thought that was really neat looking. Okay. Then Oh, this was some tech this was my technique one month. This is called the Spotlighting Technique. This is actually for the Stamping Society um, tutorial that I have, too. So this is spotlighted, but this is not colored at all. That was the whole idea of it. This, again, is colored, 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 but this is not. So these are two cards that I made with this suite because we have this great big hibiscus flower in there that is really, really pretty. Oh, and then I use that coastal weave embossing folder to do the um, flap on the envelope to go with these. Pretty cool, right? Here's another one using the um, floral paper. Now that's this paper down here for the pineapple. And then the die has some little flowers in it right here. That's where that flower is coming from. And they took the burlap braided trim, that's it, and you can pull it apart to make it look different. Isn't that cool? Yeah, very cool. Here's another one. This one actually has a piece of cardstock behind the die cut pineapple, so they just trimmed that. We don't have a die for that, so they just trimmed around the die after they cut it out, glued the die on, and then trimmed around the outside edge to get the yellow underneath. Love this one. Here's another one. Took just a tiny sliver of the designer paper and put it kind of halfway over the braided trim. I thought that was really cool looking. 
yeah, I like this one a lot. Here's another one that I made using gold foil paper. And again, the dies, the embossing folder, and I stamped a petal pink, that's what color this is, a petal pink pineapple underneath my thank you. So I thought that was kind of cool. Is that thank you in here? Yeah, that thank you comes with this set. You get a thank you, a hello, rest and relax, you deserve it. May your birthday be memorable and our friendship is timeless. So yeah, I thought that was really cool looking. Here's another one. I got this one in a swap. Oh yeah, Roberta's telling me that was dragon fruit. Yes, it is dragon fruit. And I've had it and I didn't think it was that good. But I really like sweet things. Here is a really cool card. I love just this element being um, embossed. There's some Wink of Stella on this beautiful flower and just stacks of the designer paper behind there. This was just really very interesting. It just caught my eye right from the beginning. Here's another one. Now this is an inlaid technique and you're going to, <clears throat> you're going to, Stamp your flower on the white layer. You're going to stamp your words across it. Then you're going to take the die here, die cut it, and pop it up on dimensionals. It's kind of an inlaid technique. I thought that was really cool. I did not create this. I did not design this card. But I did a really good job copying it. <laughs> Then, I think these are two of my favorites. I just love this. Even though I think those panel cars are just kind of strange, I love this card. It reminds me of Cuba. I don't know why. I don't have a great love for Cuba, I mean, but it just reminds me of Cuba, and I think it's cool. Love the die cut that comes for the trees. That's one of the dies that's in this set. And then here's another card that I think is just so cool. There's Wink of Stella on these trees. She stamped the trees twice on the white layer and then stamped them on a scrap and die cut them and put them on top with dimensionals. Used a circle for masking the sun. Yeah, I, I love this card. I think it's just beautiful. This was a swap card that I got. <clears throat> so there you have it. This is the Tropical Oasis suite of products. I love it. It's beautiful. It's great for scrapbooking. You can make some wonderful cards and I love the fonts in here. We've got birthday. Um, a great one for um, retirement. Rest and relax. You deserve it. And then our friendship is timeless and I don't know anybody I send a card to. I could practically, practically use that for just about anybody. But there's our card for tonight you guys. I thought this was really cool. It's easy. You can make a ton of them. Sit down in front of the TV, grab your big shot, and just die cut, die cut, die cut. And then you can crank out a ton of these. Now remember, if you would like to place an order, I always appreciate your orders. If your order is under $150, use this host code. If it's over $150, don't use that code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I definitely want you to have them. If you order this suite, the cool thing about the suites, where did my catalog go? Hang on. The cool thing about these suites is Stampin' Up! has started adding one item code and you'll get the whole thing. And the one item code is, is right here. The whole suite is $116, but I don't know if that Saddle Brown Stays on Ink is available yet. Does anybody know? Did we get an answer to that question? Somebody on here knows. I have some. Well, maybe I don't. I've got the re-inker, though. Yeah, I think I have this, the ink pad. I think I actually got it on the last trip. Um, where did we go? Was it Greece? I think it was Greece. Maybe. <laughs> um, Haley's answering Sue, and she says, That is my absolute favorite part. It is so crazy cool. And I miss Sue's question. Or, yeah, Sue, replying to Kathy. I don't know. I will, I will look through all of these <laughs> comments later. Oh, there's a whole conversation going on here. That's so sweet, you guys. Thank you so much. She really has had, Haley has had a lot of fun helping me 
Like that's been a lot of fun for her and I'm really glad that we're getting to spend this time together. We're isolating ourselves so that um, I'm not bringing germs into our house. Steve's not bringing germs into our house. So that's, this is pretty much the only place that Haley has gone besides her house. Her house and here. That's it. So, oh, Joe says she was talking about the pregnancy. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate it. Okay, I'm going to flip my camera around. Hopefully I won't disconnect you guys. If I do, I apologize. There we go. Here we are. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so, Tropical Oasis is, it's amazing. It's a great set to have. Um, another thing that I consider doing is making up some tropical cards, like especially this one, and, and do the rest and relax, you deserve it, and sending it out to my friends who are going to go on a vacation. Well, not right now, because we can't, but there'll be vacations again. I'm really counting on it. I'm living my life for my next vacation. <laughs> but I think that's a great idea too, right? I like to make vacation or um, cards and send them to people like, have a great time on your trip and stuff like that. It's just another reason to send a card. So if I missed any questions, I apologize. I know Haley's been trying to answer, help out a little bit with that. And I, I always appreciate that too. I think I need to go eat, get my team meeting put together so that I can... Um, have a decent meeting tomorrow for everybody. Yeah, you guys saw the baby's room. It is. It's just the sweetest thing ever, isn't it? Well, I mean, she decorated the room like she does her scrapbook pages. Like there's no, nothing is left undone or halfway done or it's like, it's 100% or nothing. That's kind of how she rolls. <laughs> Hi, Barb. I saw your fantastic vacation. Where'd you guys go? Sweden or Finland or Iceland or something like that? That looked amazing. Before all the corona. <laughs> oh, Joe said she bought a tear so she can craft with it too. Well, your stamping will get a lot better. Not that it isn't great, but if you wear a tiara on your head, your stamping has to go no place but up, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Sue says she needs to stop eating. CQ 2020 is making me cow 2020. <laughs> I know, right? <sighs> I know what you're saying, right? I think, too, because we're just kind of bored. And it's like, oh, what is there to do? Well, let's eat. That's fun. That's satisfying. Yeah. What's behind the crib? What's behind the door? The crib is blocking. I don't know. Haley will answer that. Maybe Mickey needs a crown. Everybody needs to wear a crown. And you should all have a crown so that when it's your birthday, you wear the crown on your birthday everywhere you go. That's what I do. And that way people wish you happy birthday. Everybody says happy birthday to you. Or they look at you like you're a lunatic. Yeah. And the people who don't, the people who can look at me my my crown says happy birthday. It's a tiara. It's a rhinestone tiara that says happy birthday. If people look at me and see that I'm wearing a happy birthday crown and they can't say happy birthday to me, I know those are people I can't be friends with. <laughs> yeah, where did I get my tiara? Actually, my friend Dina um, ordered them from some place. She ordered one for me, her, and Barb. We all have tiaras. When is my birthday, Joe? It's July 7th. Haley's birthday is July 1st. Mine is July 7th. Yep. So, yeah, Cindy just asked, where do, where do I buy my tiara? You can just go online and look up tiara. Um, these were probably right around, I want to say between $20 and $30. So they're not the real cheap plastic junk, but they certainly aren't real high quality. Um, but they're, they're pretty nice. It's pretty substantial. I like my tiara. I get yelled at if I go to Stampin' Up! events and I'm not wearing it. Because <laughs> everybody is looking for the tiara and then I don't have it on. And they're like, hey, that's Kelly. And she doesn't have her tiara on. She's been sitting there the whole time. I didn't even know it. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Yeah. 
Anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. I have a lot of work to do. I have a team meeting to get ready for. I'm so glad I got to stamp with you tonight. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me tonight. I really appreciate that. And whose daughter is has a birthday? Somebody's daughter has a July 7th birthday. Terry's daughter. Well, we share a birthday with Princess Diana, too. Yeah, it was her birthday. Linda's going to be a first-time grandma in August. Good for you, Linda. I'm going to beat you. I'm not waiting till August. <laughs> Deborah's birthday is July 9th. Haley was born on Patricia's birthday. That's cool. How fun. Okay. Thank you guys so much for all your kind comments. I will be live again tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Central Time. That is the only day of the week that I have an absolute scheduled time that I go live. 7 p.m. Central Time. Sunday night is my regularly scheduled Facebook Live. I have absolutely no idea what we're making. Like, none. But I'll figure it out. I hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday night. And I hope I can see you back here tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central Time. Please make sure, sure you share this video. That really helps me grow my business. I appreciate that. Also appreciate your orders. If you need catalogs, if you don't have catalogs and you'd like a hard copy, just let me know. I'd be happy to send them to you. Um, everybody who has placed at least a $50 order with me in the last six months, you will be getting the new catalog. You'll be on my mailing list. And if you haven't placed an order with me in the last six months that totals $50, there's still time. I will be getting that list together by the end of this month. The end of April is when I have to choose everybody to get the catalog mailed to them through Stampin' Up, which is the most economical way for me to do that. Otherwise, it can be thousands and thousands of dollars. Scary, right? Okay, I'm going to go. Have a great Saturday night. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.